Thank you very much indeed. And many, many thanks to all of you who put so much energy, so much thoughts uh, into uh, the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development. I have to confess you now, I usually don't support or sometimes I hate international days because they are in many cases meaningless. We have in the United Nations, we have more international days than days in the calendar. So you can guess how serious their impacts could be. But now we have a little bit different story. And when we look ahead with the decade, we were talking about the goals, where we would like to see ourselves by 2030 and beyond. But we haven't touched upon yet uh, another very important uh, point, where are we embarking from? Because that has a major impact on how the decade can be composed and how the decade can be designed and implemented. You might not be surprised if I repeat it to you that we have the most complex crisis uh, in the last 70 years uh, of the history of humankind, which consists of two major parts, two major natures of crises, and it deserves a little bit for us to understand how does it work. On one hand, there is a deepening geopolitical divide in the world, a geopolitical rivalry that will stay with us, most probably. On the other hand, we are facing a cascading, very rapid set of challenges, crises, stemming from the non-sustainable way of our operations. There is nothing new in it. But nevertheless, there is something of novelty. These two started interacting and created a new situation. This new situation is basically a new chapter in our history. We haven't given a name to this chapter yet, but it is impacting our current realities, also impacting how we can embark from here to, uh, to uh, implement sustainability transformation. Why is it so important from the point of view of uh, science policy? When you consider the geopolitical rivalry, it is driven by a zero-sum game mentality. And when we are talking about those challenges and crises that are stemming from the non-sustainable way of operations, basically we are talking about the fate of our global common goods. They are just crying for a better global governance, our cooperation. If and when the geopolitical zero-sum game mentality is overriding the, uh, the efforts or the needs of improving uh, our global actions, then the result on that field is not a zero-sum game. It is a negative-sum game. That is exactly what is happening now, and that's exactly what we cannot afford. The alternative to it is and would be uh, decisions taken on the basis of the scientific evidence. In the international organizations, certainly at the end of the day, there will always be political decisions. But how we establish the basic facts, how the evidence is guiding our understanding of the challenges and problems that makes a huge difference. Whether we create a political paper or we create a blueprint for a traceable solution. The international year was very instrumental for putting forward the evidence-based, science-based, logic-based thinking and searching solutions. Thanks to that, scientific experts who were included into all 16 negotiating processes 
that we had in the last year in the General Assembly. And many, many thanks to all of you who, who contributed uh, to, uh, to those works. Science can offer us the best chances, but science can do more, and I would like to invite you, all of you, to think together. And let's be quite, quite honest and quite frank. If we ask ourselves, how are we progressing or standing with the sustainability transformation, and that's what we agreed upon, we are about uh, to transform this world, our society, our environment, our economies. How are we standing with the sustainability transformation? The honest answer is that we don't really know. Uh, we have very good educated guesses. We have partial knowledge on several areas. But if you really want to know about how the transformation is happening, then we don't know because we don't have the right tool and we don't have the right methodology of measuring transformation. We don't have the right and proper set of tools of measuring the totality of negative and positive externalities of our actions. We measure only fragments of that. We believe that some of the externalities can be disregarded. We move ahead and they will stay behind. But in fact, these externalities tend to accumulate and explode. Today we call them climate change, water crisis, biodiversity decline, depletion of oceans, depletion of soil, and pandemics. So we need, definitely need, a new methodology of measuring sustainability development and transformation. If you wish, it is also a kind of core for the new economics of sustainable development. Uh, what might be the key elements uh, of the international decade for sustainable, of science for sustainable development? I wish I would be in the position to give you very precisely what might be the key ingredients and components. I'm still not in the position to do that yet. But I know that we all who are here in this room have the wisdom to build the scientific cooperation that allows us, first and foremost, leverage positive externalities. The second, formulate transformative approaches of environmental restoration, social justice, and economic progress. And third, to support policy development through a systemic scientific pointers that allow decision makers to validate how decisions can improve all the overall sustainability. We don't really have in the UN at least any reliable system of validating the implementation of our deeds. So in short, the success of the de decade depends on how we find the method of integrating data from a very broad spectrum of development. How is it used for decision shaping? And how this method can become an integral part of normal functioning of our institutions. So I would like to address you two invitations. First, in the General Assembly, in each and every future negotiations, negotiating processes, please be part of it. Please be present, not on ad hoc basis, but as a systemic institutional part of decision shaping. That can give us the basis where to embark from. The second, I would like to ask you to support and join the World Science Forum in 2024 uh, to be held in next November in Budapest, Hungary. The stakes are no less than how science can help transformation becoming a reality and how supporting and supporting the implementation of the decisions of the summit of the future. I hope for your support and I hope for your knowledge.
expertise. Thank you.